What's up YouTube? This is Matt. Welcome to the channel. This is where we head out to garage sales and thrift stores looking for items to buy cheap to flip for a profit on eBay. Let's see what we find today. Sponsored by the Arizona Army National Guard. Aired by the Arizona Broadcasters Association and this station. This weather is brought to you by Mother's Insurance. Visit us at mothersinsurance.com. Your Saturday weather with sunny skies and strong winds, 100 along the river. In Finland, 90 with stronger winds and extreme gusts. Tonight, 71 along the river, 58 in Finland. I'll try to navigate the insurance. Yeah, yeah. Love, thank you, George. Three eighty Walter, that's a... Yeah. That's an odd job. Uh-huh. set up here so you can look at it? That would be good. Of course. A uh, Walther PPK. <coughs> um, how about 10 bucks? Oh, yeah. We're trying to give everybody stuff real cheap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything's brand new, and then the grips are rubberized with um, about five bucks each. Okay. Yeah. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40 for both? Yeah. You have the box too. And the box? Do you need an AR too? I don't. Okay. Yeah, you need any, any spacers for. Well, there's one spacer. That's for a Piccanini rail. But you might as well take it. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's go get it. Good luck. You got you got the pill with it. Oh, that's okay. Oh, Dusty. <laughs> Everything gets so quick, right? There you go. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Now lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a beer or two. Yeah. And beers over at Smith's. Yeah, <laughs> thank That's you. That's the best deal. She'll be right back. Okay. Um, Maybe the turn no. mm -hmm. Or that. Yeah. 
I know it's June and everything, but hindsight, I should have probably looked up at those, uh, those boots and the snow pants and whatnot. So, oh well. Thank you. Uh, have a good day. Alright, welcome back. So, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, basically just that box of gum parts. And it actually worked out pretty good. Uh, the two magazines sold the same night that they were listed, uh, pretty much back to back, well back to back as you can see in the picture, it was two different buyers. Um, so I paid 40 bucks and, oh what was that? I don't even remember now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's like $78 or something like that. So that works out pretty good for me because the bipod is for me and I already have one of those grips on my gun. I think that other grip is going to go to my brother-in-law who has a birthday in a couple weeks and I'm sure he's got a, a gun that can use a, a more comfortable grip. But have you guys ever run across one of those eBay trolls? So I have a past history of making the most interesting friends that I possibly can and I used to blame my best friend because he would start up conversations with just the oddest of people in the most randomest of places and then they would gravitate towards me and just like laser focus and like for the next 25 minutes would just talk non-stop and they always ended up being super strange um, so how long ago is this this is about a week and a half ago now uh, I had a uh, a train, a train car uh, that I was selling uh, for $25 plus shipping and handling. And uh, the sold comps were, the last two sold for like $22 plus shipping and handling. And I thought mine looked a little bit nicer, so I went ahead and bumped it up a couple dollars. Um, I thought I was being very reasonable at $25 plus shipping based on the condition and the fact that there was no others for sale. Uh, <laughs> this gentleman here <clears throat> definitely, definitely uh, did not like what I was doing. So let me go ahead and share with you um, a couple of the emails that he has uh, sent me. And uh, it starts off with, <clears throat> it starts off with, can I ask a serious question? Without being blocked, why do people expect four to five times more than a train show price? And I apologize, I have to keep trying to look around the camera to see this. Um, it's bad enough we have to fight with high feedback pro mods and bid. And I don't even know what that means. Uh, why is it that I can find cars cheap if I can find them at train shows? Why do all you old timer adults hoard them from us kids? I'm just tracks and trains only. No scenery, no buildings, and no ballast or weather paint junk. Why are people so greedy or jerkish over these trains? Even train shows now jack them up to match eBay morons who fight like babies over toy trains meant for us kids. I've been buying at shows for five years now, but Hoarder Pro mods trash most of them. It must be an old timer thing. Are any of these going to be <laughs> in factory meant shape or condition for us kids? Or are you? <laughs> <laughs> or are all you people so into visual wonderland that you have to trash them with paint or weather dirt you find outside? It's sad how adults treat these. I even treat toys better than adults. 
Sorry, but these prices are nuts. It's 40 plus bucks on my end after shipping, taxes, etc. And that's crazy for toys, isn't it? Question mark. So, the first thing that, that jumped out at me is the fact that uh, when I looked it up on my phone, like it took up my entire screen. And I was just like, oh, wow. And anytime you start off, um, can I ask a serious question? Question mark without being blocked question mark lets me know that this guy's probably got some some issues and so I kind of sat on it for a couple hours and I, I know that we're supposed to be proactive with our messages and I try to be I try to respond as soon as I see them but this one I was just like oh, I don't even know what to say to this guy like is he really busting my butt over a couple dollars um, and then I kind of started to think about it and I was like, well, I am kind of new to the train thing. And some of these guys I'm selling against, uh, have 11,000, um, feedback points or score or whatever that thing is. And I'm at like 338. So, um, I sat on it and I did reply and I kept mine much, much shorter. And I started off by saying, laugh out loud, thanks for assuming I'm an old timer. I know I'm getting older, but I'm not quite to the old timer stage yet. Uh, have you heard of the saying about assumptions? Because he made a lot of assumptions. So, you know, uh, supply demand works both ways for those motivated, but you whippersnappers are too busy playing with your butt hoosies and TikToks rarely looking up to see what's going on around you. <laughs> I was trying to be funny by saying, you know, what hoosies. I don't even know if I've actually heard that before. I must have. I don't think I came up with that on my own. But I was trying to kind of make a little, like, joke by saying whippersnapper. Um, I honestly haven't heard that in at least 20-something years. Um, so I go on and I say, I look at 90-day sale amounts for similar items and base my pricing based on supply and demand. It is what it is. I've seen an HO engine go for, uh, HO is the size, for over 1200 bucks the other day. That is crazy. Seen a GI Joe sold for 500 bucks the other day. Just nuts. I don't know how much this stuff goes for brand new, because I'm more interested in the older stuff that is harder to find and more desirable for collectors. And that's kind of what I've been doing with the trends. I'm trying to find things that aren't, you know, brand, brand new, like just released yesterday trying to look for things several years old that might still be new in box and whatever, but it comes down to the fact that <laughs> this train was asking $25 for, and he was pissed off that it was shipping and handling and taxes that it was gonna be $40 to Washington, uh, Washington State, and he's actually uh, from a town that I have visited several times because I used to live in Washington. Um, that is a beautiful town it's great for winter fest so it's a it's a nice place so I, I hit send and I'm like you know it is what it is you don't like the price don't buy it you like the price you like what it looks like buy it let's move on with life so let's see here uh, I got several responses back after that Oh, let me find it again. And an, an attachment. What is that attachment? I didn't see that. Uh, I think it's this one here. <laughs> all right, so he sent three more responses back. Um, all of them just as long as the first one. So first, I'm 40 years old. A kid who never got to play with trains because dad hoarded them. Second, would you pay $40 for this capitalized car? $25 for car, $822 shipping and handling, plus tax. eBay now charges for nearly, now oh, that doesn't make any sense, for nearly 38 bucks. Would you pay that? <laughs> no, I, I didn't pay that. I, I paid a lot less. <laughs> um, I've been on eBay for Eight years, 24-7 and five accounts. Two got suspended because I used bad words to greedy jerks. eBay plays mind games. Throughout eight years of buying on and off. Third, it's old-time man babies who want 
bucket list who pay insane amounts to get them before they die. I did some train car buying back in 2016 on other account. Yes, I get supply and demand, but I'll hoard them either to hoard as investment to make money for retirement or to get because they made mega layout 20 years ago and see empty tracks and say I got to have more. I have Tyco too, but I'm colored themed trains. Uh, it goes on to some colors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have some passenger sets. I have some other colored trains. I don't have a place waiting for that American dream, but oldies hoard that too. The guy's a little angry. Trains are worth money to the generation they came out for. Tyco sets new in box are worth money to people who want nice trains for kids. Because, <clears throat> because we want them before pro mods trash them with weather paint. I've seen some of the junk pro mods pass off, pawn off to fuel train addiction. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Something about selling junk. Um, so that's pretty much how that one wraps up. I don't reply. Well, partially because I'm driving at this point. <laughs> and I just see that as this big huge thing and I don't even read it. Um, let's go to the one right after that. This one, this one, he wants to explain to me that he is actually an enthusiast and he sends pictures of his tracks, which I don't have tracks. I just, I'm buying stuff cheap and reselling it. And another long big thing and he's still talking about um, how I might have probably paid $25 back for it way back in the day. Yeah, yeah, let's read that one. Uh, trains are for people who have had the American dream and it's why people are getting them or getting mad over them. All in all, it's very sad everyone passes these around because these are getting more and more trashed every hand they pass through and it's why they get more and more overpriced because each person want their money back. I bet you bought on eBay way back when for 15 bucks and 10 shipping for 25 total and I want your 25 back. It's a vicious cycle for everyone wanting money back. Let's say I buy for 38 now and 10 years later I want money back. I'd charge next guy 50 bucks and so on. Until it tops out, who will give me my money back? Not my gen and not the millennial gen. It's a baby boomer generation thing. Baby boomer? Nope. Oh man, uh, but us kids want some who had parents who would not let us play with toy trains. It's greedy parents who want them now, like my real dad who's 70. So after reading this, I'm starting to think he's trying to guilt trip me into reducing my price, which if you wanted a lower price, all of my listings except for the auctions, um, I do allow for people to make offers. And when I stick my uh, make offer amount like that, whatever that amount is, is my minimum what I want to make on that item. So if that pops up that someone made an offer, I know that that uh, without having to look up any spreadsheets or anything that that I'm okay with that actual price and whether or not I want to increase, you know, make a counter offer or just accept it and move on, you know, it's just right there at a click of the button. Um, so he gets way more personal uh, in the next one. And uh, <laughs> he basically <laughs> calls me a sucker, and I'm selling junk, and uh, you know, uh, so now I'm losing out big because I paid all that money for it all those years ago, and I'm trying to rip people off. Uh, let's see. So was it worth being greedy? Was it worth hoarding if no one will pay rip off prices? What a joke you hoarders became. That is why I buy cheap. I do not buy, explanation point, explanation point. Stupid ones buy because they got to have it all. Good luck, because you'll need it down the road. And you thought I was a young buck, sucker. Better find one soon before it's too late. Ha ha ha. So yeah, I make very interesting friends. Um, I still haven't replied to any of this. 
I thought about um, sending him the uh, sold comp for when the train did sell like two days later for $25 plus shipping and it went much further than Washington and he paid a lot more than, than $8 and some change in shipping. So I just thought I'd share with you guys, um, do you uh, do you toy with them? Because I did send, a, I sent Amber a text and I was like, I think this guy's just messing with me. He's not really busting me up over a couple, you know, a couple dollars, is he? Like, no way, there's no way. And I was like, well, I'm new to this community here and, and you know, maybe they're just trying to, you know, mess with me. Because like I was saying, like, like that, the whole train community, those guys selling, they're, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13,000 uh, reviews and whatnot, and, and they all have great scores. So I, I, I kind of assumed this guy was messing with me, but I really did want to mess with him back. And it came down to two different questions. Um, the first question is, how much would it really make me laugh? It would probably make me laugh a lot. The second question is, how hard would it be for this guy to figure out where I'm at and then wait for me outside my house because that's kind of the vibe I was getting from him. He's got something not quite right going on there. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. What would you have done? Um, I, f I still kind of want to mess with him. Um, I also had, <laughs> side note, I also had a couple of other um, very unique brand new trains from 1983. It was four out of five set that were not even assembled yet. They were still brand new from 1983. They're like some circus cars. Only one of them had a sold comp. The other ones aren't anywhere on eBay sold uh, individually. The one that did sell had a sold comp for like $83 plus shipping. And then the only other listings available uh, that uh, guy's got all five of the set and he wants like $350 plus shipping for it. So I thought about sending him my listing for that as well. Uh, you know, asking, you know, $300 or I think I'm actually only asking 220, <laughs> but you know, supply and demand. There's one other that's a complete set for 350 or you can buy one or two individual pieces for 60 to 80 or do you want all four for, you know, 220, which is not a bad price, really, if you think about it. But, uh, yeah, so now I'm just rambling, and I apologize. Um, hopefully I get uh, I get some better garage sales out there, and uh, we don't have to spend time talking about these trolls. But I thought it was kind of worth sharing, because um, I do really make lifelong interesting friends. So, we'll see you guys next week. Take care.